As the AFL celebrates its 150th season this weekend, marks a difficult anniversary of a different kind for the sport. 33 years ago, former North Adelaide Premiership player Neil Saxe was left a quadriplegic after a collision while playing for Footscray. Mike Sexton reports on how that life-changing moment has led to potential breakthroughs in spinal injury treatments. After a grand final appearance last year, expectations are high for North Adelaide in 2008. On match day at Prospect Oval, there are remnants of the club's glorious past. President Bowden Jaworski in a corporate box. Barry Robran running the merchandise stall. And Neil Saxe are all members of a side that not only won consecutive premierships, but by beating Carlton in 1972, laid claim to being the best club in Australia. You tend to do that a little bit more as you get older and, and um, the memories of, of actually winning that and, and trying to understand its significance wasn't apparent at the time. But as you look back and you, and you, you sort of say, to yourself, yeah, well, we were pretty good back then. We, we were the best in the country. Before last week's match, Neil Saxe watched his five-year-old granddaughter, Emily, toss the coin. She's now the same age he was when his football journey began. Well, football was pretty uh, prominent in the family. Uh, our mother was very supportive and our father used to take us every year Saturday to the football and a pile of other kids. Yeah, I often remember uh, playing with my younger brother um, when my parents went out playing in a passageway uh, with a tiny little football and uh, I often wonder how the building stood up after we were knocking it around, so yes, it was pretty competitive. Around Collins. Now the chance is for Neil Sachs. Plenty of time to turn out of danger, send it into fifth. Three Saxe brothers played league football in the red and white. While John and Dennis were key forwards, Neil was a jack of all trades. Neil was a much more agile, um, midfielder, half forward, uh, and to, to add to his array of just natural ability, he, Neil had a nasty streak in. Wide gives the opportunity here for Neil Sachs, very close to the boundary line, hooks it in with the left foot. After winning everything with North Adelaide, Neil Sachs decided to test himself against the best and accepted an offer to play with Footscray. But his career ended dramatically in just his second game with the Bulldogs. The Fitzroy defence under terrific pressure. The ball forced out. Oh, Saxe got one. I just couldn't move, so I didn't know what was happening, so I got picked up and I said, I just can't move, I can't move. So he just let me go and uh, during that course while waiting for the ambulance to go to the hospital I suggested they should take off my shoes or my football boots and they said oh we did that long time ago so I thought no I think I might be in a bit more trouble than I think I am. The father of two toddlers now began a new life as a quadriplegic. I had a wife and two young kids at the time so I wanted to enjoy their company so I made sure that um, I tried to maintain a positive attitude and get out there and do things. I don't know whether it's just in my makeup or it's in the individual makeup, but I saw, had seen a lot of people while they were in hospital. They just seemed to want to blame everything else, even though they were part of the accident. At the time of his injury, Neil Saxe was told there would never be a cure for spinal injury in his lifetime. And given that a majority of those who broke their necks died, just being alive seemed enough. But that time changed, and so I thought, you know, um, I might as well get involved in, in this push and therefore uh, with a friend of mine uh, we created the, the, the foundation uh, and, uh, and that was about 13 years ago so th that foundation was to try to, to find a cure for spinal cord injury. Um, we'd funded a fair bit of research to the tune of 1.5 million dollars during that time to get to uh, where we proved that nerve fibres can grow past the site of injury and return function so uh, we're excited about that. There's studies that have been um, done that show that you can get a reconnection if you intervene at the right time. So in the early phase after um, traumatic spinal cord injury, particularly in animal work, you can get regrowth of existing nerve cells, you can get reconnection, but you have to intervene in a number of ways. You have to promote the growth, for one, and then you have to stop factors that inhibit the growth. Oh, how's it going? The research offers a tantalising potential, but there's still much to be done before there is any talk of a cure. 
According to the chair of the University of Adelaide's neurological research, Professor Bob Vink, Adelaide has an international reputation for brain injury and some spinal cord injury research. Of the ten research projects under his supervision, the one funded by the Neil Sachse Foundation is looking at what happens to cells after an injury. She's particularly interested in how um, cells die in the nervous system after an injury. There are several different mechanisms, but you have to understand which mechanism um, is resulting in most of the cell death and then try to prevent that mechanism from happening. But Neil Sachse wants his foundation to fund more beyond this research, which is why he hosts fundraisers like this recent event at State Parliament. He dreams of a centre of excellence being created for spinal research in Adelaide, which would build on the expertise rather than losing researchers interstate and overseas, as often happens. We need to catch up financially, like other states, where they use speed light or red light cameras and speed cameras to fund neurotrauma initiatives, which uh, we don't have. And if we cannot find enough funding here in South Australia, all this expertise will disappear to where the money is. I know the University of Adelaide is looking at building a neuroscience research centre which will focus somewhat on neurotrauma but on also a variety of other areas that are of interest to in neuroscience. Um, the Spinal Cord Injury Centre of Excellence is Neil's idea to, to plug into that yes. program. Yeah. Change? Yeah. Sweetheart, thanks so much. Well done. Yeah. Such an ambitious project will cost millions of dollars which is why the tins were being rattled on the terraces at Prospect. The Eagles, West Adelaide, Glenelg and the umpires have all agreed to help with fundraising. Yeah. And just in those four years, five years, that uh, it increased the speed they just escalated just in that period. So. By his own admission, Neil Sachse doesn't watch much football. He was a player, not a spectator. But the game dealt him a savage blow and he's prepared to use his name to create a legacy from it. There are a lot of positives in life. Um, I've been able to travel a lot, I've seen a lot of Australia, I've seen a fair bit of the world, so there is, you, yeah, it's up to the individual and what he wants to achieve.